Welcome back to Breakfast Television. And while we're all practicing social distancing and staying inside during this coronavirus outbreak, spring cleaning is as important as ever. We're going to scrub through the list of things you don't clean as often as you should. Joining us via Skype right now is Melissa Maker of CleanMySpace.com. Good morning, Melissa. Hey, guys. So good to see you. How are okay. you doing? We're very well. How are you coping? I'm good. Listen, I'm at home. I'm cleaning. I'm working. It's all good. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the spring cleaning and the dirtiest places. What are those touch points, those hot spots we need to really look at every single day? Okay, so on a daily basis, we want to focus on the third hand. Have you guys heard of this term, the third hand? No. Nope. Oh, oh, the smartphone. The yeah. hand right there. So if you have a smartphone, a tablet, a smartwatch, really important to keep that clean. A great way to do that is to use one of these. This is a rubbing alcohol wipe on the hard, non-porous surface. You want to make sure you're not getting any moisture, you know, into any of the ports or anything. And if you don't have one of those, you can use a flat weave microfiber cloth with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on that. Another thing to clean every day is your kitchen sink because A, it gets grimy and B, if dishes build up in there, it just makes everything else so much messier as well as the actual faucet and the handles that you're constantly turning on and off, right? That's right, yeah. What, what about light and switches? Those are, yeah, those are, those are called points of contact. And when you're in a healthy home, you would be okay to clean those once a week. So light switches, doorknobs, handles, drawer pulls, toilet flushers, faucets, all of that stuff you can clean weekly. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, points of contact, you really want to focus on on a weekly basis, as well as your linens. You know, a lot of people don't know how frequently they should be washing those. Weekly is the answer. Anything that's touching your body while you're sleeping, pillowcase, fitted sheet, flat sheet, you want to throw those in on a weekly basis. That's it. And we're talking about uh, kind of this weekly basis stuff. Let's go back to the light switches and things like that. Are we using like the rubbing alcohol on that cloth again? Or how are we doing this? What's the best uh, kind of method plan of attack for that yeah that's a great question Devo so using a disinfectant on uh, a paper towel or disposable when you're concerned about sickness in the home is the best way to do it otherwise you can use uh, you know a reusable cloth I think is okay with a bit of disinfectant now anytime you know if it's a light switch plate particularly you want to spray the cloth and then wipe the surface instead of spraying it directly mm -hmm. but otherwise if it's a handle or you know a doorknob you can just spray it and then wipe it off. What about the duvet? Speaking of contact with our bodies, yeah. can we just throw that in the wash and dryer? Will it overload it? What's the trick? So the duvet cover and the sham cover is again something that you want to focus on cleaning on a monthly basis. I would say to throw those in the laundry. And then your actual duvets, you can clean those once or twice a year. And if your machine is pretty small, you can actually take those to a dry cleaner and they'll do that for you. As well as baseboards. Don't yes. forget those. They trap all kinds of dust. Yes. Wipe them down, oh, everybody. Yeah. We got to wipe it all down <laughs> and get things uh, clean. Uh, CleanMySpace.com, Melissa Maker, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Great information. Right thank now, we're going to throw. Me. Thank you. Right now, we're going to throw things upstairs to Steph. Good morning, Steph.